Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. Hello. Thanks for watching my videos. It's Mike. It's January 14th over here, the evening of. Uh, actually, it's getting very close to January 15th, but anyway. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry I haven't been doing as many videos as I would like to. A, um, I can only do them in the evenings here. Um, in the mornings, I'm far too pan uh, manic, trying to get ready for the day's activities training a bunch of uh, <coughs> agent distributors and what our software does and how it works. So, um, and then at night, I'm usually quite knackered. Uh, the jet lag hasn't quite caught up with me yet, and um, I'm not impressed. Who knew flying could have such a bad effect on people? Anyway, um, and of course, um, I've got a link door through to the room next door, and seeing as how I can hear everything they're doing in there, I figure they could probably hear what I'm doing in here, so I try to be quiet. Only polite. You know, I have no idea how big the guy is, and that so could be a problem. Anyway, but there's a. So I've been putting off videos until sort of I see something that's actually um, worthy of comment. Now, one thing I should mention here: uh, George for Title has just posted up a playlist of some of a really good documentary. Um, there's some of my people that PM me will know my views on, on certain uh, banking elements out there. Um, but there is this propensity within uh, the YouTube community to sensationalize things and to use facts that aren't entirely correct um, in order to uh, spread their own particular propaganda, as it were. This, however, is entirely accurate from start to finish. There is not one deception within this documentary. It may not be, you know, to everyone's taste, but it is entirely true. Okay, two things. New Zealand. Two things to start. New Zealand here. Standard and Poor's. <clears throat> I've warned that New Zealand uh, government may start failing on its bond issuances and has increased <coughs> the, or decreased the credit worthiness of New Zealand itself. In Europe, similar things are happening. Thanks to uh, my uh, ever-diligent reading of the Financial Times, European bond spreads widen to records. What's this about? Okay, well, this is the um, fourth auction. Uh, fourth Eurozone, Eurozone country in four days to face the threat of a ratings downgrade. Okay? <clears throat> the countries in question are Portugal, Ireland, um, trying to catch them here, Greece, and um, Italy. So, for my um, ever diligent critic, CZ Man, I do appreciate your comments. You keep me on my toes and make sure that my thoughts are correct, or as far as I, as far as I consider them to be correct, at any rate. Um, but I see from your profile you are Italian. I do hope you understand that um, the problems are not limited to the four countries that you quoted in one of one of my one of your comments. Um, it's going across lots of other countries. Uh, listed here also with rather huge spreads versus Germany is um, Spain, Belgium, Finland, Netherlands, uh, Italy, Greece, Portugal, and Ireland are having some financial difficulties because of the standard of poor's changing the ratings on the <coughs> country's debt. Now, of course, being out here in Asia, I'm interested in Asian stories. So this one would actually caught my eye right here. Now, India's been having its own little difficulties with uh, Satyam coming up, basically saying, oh, sorry, we cooked the books a bit. I told you we had a billion dollars sitting in a bank account. Well, actually, we didn't. Um, PricewaterhouseCooper is being taken over the rails for not catching this. And all amongst all of that, um, the son of Gandhi is rising up um, and harnessing the people power around him. So I expect to see um, lots of activity within India. <coughs> Other story from Asia, Indian rice producers. Sound alert on defaults. Nine companies on blacklist of debtors. The so rice producers in India are falling into trouble. Um, there's an article in The Telegraph, which is also related to Asia. 
Uh, it will be linked. Shipping rates hit zero as trade sinks. Uh, freight containers for freight rates for containers shipped from Asia to Europe have fallen to zero for the first time since records began, underscoring a dramatic collapse in trade since the world economy buckled in October. Now, you may have seen uh, George Vertitel did a video uh, a few weeks back about the Baltic Dry Index. Well, the commentary here is a Baltic Dry Index which measures freight rates for bulk commodities such as iron ore and grains crashed several months ago. Well, <coughs> it has spread to a core trade of finished industrial goods, uh, the lifeblood of the world economy. In other words, all the stuff that's manufactured over here in Asia isn't being shipped out of Asia anywhere else. This has, uh, actually I was down at the harbor uh, and the number of ships down there is, there's just not, there's not that many. You would think that Hong Kong is one of the, is one of the major uh, distribution points for goods out of China. And um, not much going on down there. Just lots of things stacked up, never moving. Now, this is new. Global crisis. <clears throat> slows EADS expansion plans. This is with regards to Airbus. There's the Airbus A380, which I'm hoping I will actually have a chance to get on if I continue doing some work in Asia, um, because Singapore Air is one of the first uh, companies to fly the A380, and it looks like a really cool plane. However, <clears throat> aircraft industry shocked by view from ground level. Things are happening in the aircraft industry because there are much fewer flights being taken. So a lot of orders are being cancelled for um, airplanes. So Boeing and um, Airbus are both having some difficulties. So I thought they were all very interesting articles. So where's this all going? Right. The stuff about <coughs> bond issuances from the governments of the various countries within Europe is very worrying. Um, as I stated in my predictions a couple of weeks back, expect to see some of the you know less resilient um, governments and countries within the eurozone to experience problems. Um, the euro has been dropping dramatically against the dollar in the last few days. Uh, Germany has announced that it will be <coughs> um, stimulating its economy by 50 billion euros. Uh, but it's also put into place a, um, uh, a restriction that they will, you know, try to maintain a balanced budget. I see foreshadows of the nonsense that went in, went on in um, the early 30s in the United States when they harped on about a balanced budget. Uh, so I expect that Germany's uh, <coughs> dramatic, dramatic, um, you know, avoidance of the economic crisis will suddenly be reversed, and. Um, Germany may well become um, the most difficult country within Euro land to, um, to have to cope with the oncoming tsunami. The next wave to hit us, well, it's going to be these T-bills these and these bonds. Um, it's incredibly worrying. And in fact, on the Telegraph, um, the two things I just mentioned here, without before I'd even looked at this, um, <clears throat> the finance most viewed shipping rates hit zero, and uh, trading in gold soars by 60%. And the bond bubble is an accident waiting to happen. So if you want to understand what's going to happen next, go take a look at those. Um, and prepare. Right. Peace, everyone. I'm doing fine. I know I look tired, but it's, it's actually because it's late at night. It's not because my body's messed up. It's just I don't want to do these really, really early. So peace, guys.